Hi, this is test taking tip number three with Tucker for the new SAT. So I want to review the tips that we reviewed or that we went over last time in the second video. So we have POOD, personal order of difficulty. So approaching the reading test by figuring out which reading passage you think you'll be the most successful on and starting there and then working towards what you think is probably the most difficult reading passage slash questions. Then we have the five above and five below, which is reading five lines above and five lines below any line references or even um, any like questions about vocabulary so that you can really get the whole context of the question you're being asked. So hopefully you have a better chance of answering it correctly. And then as you read through the questions, which I suggested you do before you read the passage, underline or marking any lead or key words, words in the questions that then you can look for as you're reading the passage to try to help you find the section of the passage the question is asking you about. Now, the next tip I want to talk about is predicting your answer. So as you attempt, uh, as you attempt to answer the questions, I would suggest you cover the answers with a hand or a sheet of paper. Just read the question and try to predict an answer. Based on this question and your understanding of the passage, what do you think the answer is going to be? So if you cover the answers, you're less likely to be tempted by a really clever answer that the designers of the SAT have added to basically trick you. Um, so if you make a prediction about what you think the answer is before reading through them, you're more likely to identify an answer that's in line with what you were thinking without being swayed by answer choices. So if you know what you're looking for in advance, you'll be less likely to fall into one of many SAT answer traps. So that is one tip I would suggest you do. And if you read a question, you're like, I have no idea what I think the answer is, then go back to the text and see if you can figure it out, if you can come up with an answer of your own. Otherwise, you may be forced to use process of elimination. So POE or process of elimination is our next tip. And so on kind of the questions that you consider easy or like medium hard, uh, you should be able to eliminate somewhere in the neighborhood of three or four answers just using the prediction that you made. On harder questions, it might be more challenging. You may only be able to eliminate one or two questions. And so some things to just be aware of that are easy traps to fall into when you're looking at the answer choices is you will see answers that are mostly right. They're mostly right and therefore very attractive looking. Um, you may also see answer choices that are slightly wrong, but kind of right. So if they're just a little bit wrong, it's wrong. Um, and so if, if the answers look perfect except for a word or two, then it's not the perfect answer. Um, if, if part of the answer doesn't match the text, it is incorrect. I think one of the biggest challenges on the SAT is that some answers could be true. Logically, they could be true. They make sense, they're logical, but they are not supported by the passage or the text itself. So be careful that you're not overthinking and, and kind of making an answer fit because it's logical. You always want to make sure that the answer is supported by the text itself. And lastly, last thing to look out for when you're looking at answer choices and you're trying to eliminate answer choices is answer choices with deceptive language. So they will use actual language or words from the passage, but the, the way that they're put together doesn't say, they don't say what you need them to say for the answer to be correct. So they might work, use words and phrases that are very, that are kind of standout words and phrases that you saw in the, the passage, and it makes you think, oh, I saw that in the passage, it must be right. But the way in which the answer is articulated or written is incorrect. So just because words look familiar, remember that does not make an answer correct. So we'll add process of elimination and predict your answer to the list of test taking tips you want to use when you're taking the SAT.